Ford, uh, I I heard you you have repeated multiple times outside or outdoors. Mm. Why are you, why are you emphasizing to do that movement outside? Is it like because it's better, or uh, is there like any additional benefits that you would get if you would walk 10 minutes outside versus walking inside your apartment? Yeah, thanks for picking that up, Ahmad. So in my PhD, my focus was on outdoor environments specifically. And we looked at green spaces, so something like a forest or a park or a nature ecology preserve, something like that, that elicits a certain response in the brain. And we also looked at blue spaces. So whether that was a river, a lake, a stream, a pond, or even walking on the coastal line, like a beach as an example. And we compared that to urban spaces. So having people go through something like a Miami or a New York or a Chicago or an LA or a Houston, Dallas, something like that. And we saw big differences in overall experience, but also more importantly, the restoration of the attention system. So in our brains, we have in the prefrontal cortex, which is the neocortex, it's the newest area of the brain, we have certain systems that allow us to focus our attention. They're essentially resources or they're sets of resources that allow us to place attention on one thing and focus on another thing and move throughout our day. But the more we use that attentional pie, so to speak, it starts to become consumed. And that would be related to directed attention fatigue. So the longer we have this conversation, right? I'm your guest, you're the host, we're relaying and conveying information back and forth. We are using our attentional resources, whether we're aware of it or not. And even your audience, ideally listening to the conversation, they're consuming their attentional resources. So what I showed during my dissertation work was when we take people, we deplete their attentional resources and we place them in urban, green, and blue, we see stronger relationships in green and especially in blue when it comes to restoring those attentional systems compared to urban space. And you can kind of think why urban space is only pulling more of those directed attention resources versus green and blue helps to restore that based on the environment. So that's why I really like to suggest and encourage people to get outside as much as possible.